Operating a nuclear power plant is a lot like driving a car. Starts and stops and changes in speed increase mechanical wear and tear and decrease fuel efficiency. And as population increases, so does highway congestion. Stop and go traffic becomes an ever more frequent driver experience. The same can also be said for nuclear power plants. With increasing generation from variable sources of renewable energy, like wind and solar, traditional sources of baseload power, like nuclear, are having to adjust power output in response to changing grid demands. The current fleet of nuclear plants were designed to operate flexibly and are increasingly being called upon to do so. Advanced reactors are expected to accommodate flexible operations to a greater degree and with reduced mechanical and maintenance impacts. In addition to operational flexibility, new reactors can accommodate greater deployment flexibility, such as for siting. Right now, water resources represent a major constraint for siting a new nuclear plant, even in areas where water is plentiful. All thermal power plants require significant quantities of water for cooling. This limits siting locations to near rivers, lakes, and other large bodies of water. Many advanced reactor designs provide expanded options for reduction or elimination of water usage via access to hybrid and dry cooling technologies. In addition to siting, the higher operating temperatures of many advanced reactors expand products and markets beyond just electricity generation. Interest is growing in hydrogen as a potential alternative to electricity as an energy carrier to support deep decarbonization of sectors like transportation and heat intensive industries. Greater product flexibility could even reduce the undesirable wear and tear on plant components. By fully leveraging the flexibility of advanced technologies and configurations, the reactor could conceivably be operated at full power while varying plant output between electricity and other products on the balance of plant side, including storable commodities. In this way, the plant can be operated flexibly to meet changing grid requirements without the need to cycle the nuclear island itself. An emerging concept that EPRI and others are pursuing is to configure the plant in a way that decouples the nuclear island from the balance of plant side. For example, through the use of intermediate thermal energy storage systems. Such a change could effectively denuclearize the majority of the plant, thereby potentially reducing costs and the regulatory footprint. While the current generation of nuclear reactors are able to operate flexibly, the blank slate offered by a new generation of advanced reactors affords a unique opportunity to integrate greater flexibility into the design, siting, construction, and operation of new plants to meet the needs of new missions, markets, and owner-operators.